Butler University will be thrust back into the national spotlight as it hosts more than a dozen games in the NCAA men's basketball tournament being held in Indianapolis, Bloomington, and West Lafayette. The return comes as the school celebrates a milestone of its own with back-to-back -back tournament runs in 2010 and 2011. Those runs, school officials say, help the school invest in its facilities and grow its campus, while also attracting thousands of potential students. We are thrilled to be hosting uh, some of the games of the NCAA men's basketball tournament here at Hinkle. Uh, for, for Butler, it means a number of things, uh, contributing to the city's ability to, to help the NCAA host this, this tournament, which is important to all the schools in the NCAA, but also to, uh, to Central Indiana, so to the state of Indiana, and folks that will be affected, and particularly the student athletes and teams, coaches, and so forth. During the NCAA tournament, Hinkle Fieldhouse is expected to host 16 games, Collier said. Of those, at least eight are expected to be in the Sweet 16. I love Hinkle Fieldhouse, and I think uh, it's a great opportunity for more people to to see it, um, and, uh, and especially for those student athletes to, to be on this court and and uh, in this arena, shoot baskets on these rims, and all of those things that uh, our history would tell has, has been fantastic over the years. Hinkle Fieldhouse hasn't hosted a tournament game since 1940. Preparations for the tournament will include a new NCAA court laid on top of the historic Hinkle Court that's been in the Fieldhouse since the 1920s. Butler University President James Danko said the university has spent tens of millions of dollars investing in its facilities, including Hinkle Fieldhouse. Those upgrades, he said, will be on full display when teams play in the facility next week. That's, that's kind of the big headline, and uh, certainly it's great that uh, the experience that the fans will have, because a lot of our, geez, we, in, my, in my time here at Butler, we put nearly $50 million in, in, into Hinkle, which was important, right? I mean, again, Hinkle is not just Butler. Hinkle is Indiana, right? And, 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 uh, uh, and so this was important to preserve the integrity, the historic, iconic feel, but yet make the fan experience even, even better. So, you know, I think that people that are viewing from television might not kind of get the feel of the investments, you know, and that, mm -hmm. but certainly those that are within it are going to, you know, feel that. In addition to prepping for the NCAA tournament, Butler is also celebrating a key milestone this year. Back-to-back -back Final Four runs in 2010 and 2011, including a tournament run that led them to Lucas Oil Stadium in 2010. Well, the, the great teams of uh, 2010 and 11 that played in the final game, championship game of the NCAA tournament here in Indianapolis in 2010 and in Houston in 2011 uh, really provided opportunity for, for Butler University and, and Butler Athletics. Our, our basketball program uh, received a, an incredible amount of uh, exposure and media coverage and that helped uh, identify us to, to lots of uh, prospective students and, and basketball players for that matter that have, uh, have come to us since then. Danko, who arrived just after the team's 2011 run, said the school has made quick work of turning that success on the court into success on campus. You know, as you raise your profile, you're raising, uh, as we did, our, our applications, you know, rose considerably, attention on our campus, uh, and we've done, uh, uh, obviously made a number of investments across our campus, both athletically and academically. You know, athletics is that, you know, proverbial front porch to a university. Um, but, you know, it's, it's the full package that really, uh, you know, make what Butler University is. Reporting for IBJ, I'm Mickey Shuey.